Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And I hope you're a subscriber and I hope you understand that all I want to do is help you have a better marriage. That's why we're here. I used to be a divorce mediator over 20 years ago and I help people get a divorce. This is much better. This is much better. Now we have books, we have courses, we have everything you need, but these videos are wonderful because they're free. There's so much you can learn. And this topic is my husband treats me like trash. So it's pretty heavy, you know, but you, we want to be really candid here. We don't want to play games with you. Again, the purpose for us is to show you the way to have a great marriage. Part of that is, you know, we have free will. So there's things that we do that are wonderful and they create like flowers in the spring. And then there's things that we do that it's ugly, that make people upset, turn people against us, offend people. Most of it is unintentional. And that's part of the problem is we're not paying attention to our communication, to our behavior. And for sure, you're not paying attention here probably to why your husband is treating you like trash. Simply, he's angry with you. You're not giving him what he needs, what he desires. And so he's treating you in his mind, mostly subconscious, in the same way. He's treating you the way he thinks you're treating him. Can you see that? We live in a cause and effect world. And that's usually what this means. And so the simple solution which is not just a solution to get rid of this, but it gives you an opportunity here because now you're thinking, oh, cause and effect. Are you thinking that you should be thinking that? Cause and effect. Do I berate him? Do I complain? Do I criticize him? What are those things going to come back as? Think of it like a wall. You throw a ball at the wall, it's going to come back. That's cause and effect. If you're mean, it's going to come back. Complaining is mean. Well, then how do I tell them that? No, you don't complain. You just don't complain. Criticism is mean. Now, you may have your way of being mean, and he has his way of being mean, and his way of being mean is to treat you like trash. It's no fun. But rather than going, why is he being an a-hole? Go, what am I doing? What can I change? And then don't stop there. Are you a subscriber? You've got to subscribe to this channel. Don't stop there. Go, what can I do to have an amazing marriage? Wow, what power you have in understanding the cause and effect of this. You got married to be happy. You got married to live in joy. What are you doing to create love in your sacred space of marriage? What are you doing to create joy in your sacred space of marriage? Don't go, don't let your mind take you into, yeah, but he's not. Forget that part. You have the power that you have. If you're not using it to produce joy and love, then you're not using it as it was intended to be used. You have free will. It's really that simple. It is. When I did divorce mediation and someone, this is over 20 years, and they said, would you help us save our marriage? We don't want to get a divorce. The first iteration of my marriage help was to point this out. You have free will. You could do something that's super positive, loving, joy-filled, or negative, complaining, giving rolling eyes and whatever, withholding sex, whatever. And then it's gotten much more elaborate and it's beautiful now. And in fact, if you're a psychologist or a relationship coach or you're working in your church to help others, you could now become a TMF marriage counselor. We don't do psychotherapy here. We just work on marriages. So maybe you're into that. But first, try this. 
Stop complaining. Stop doing all the things that you don't want to do. In fact, go to our website, get the 10 do's and don'ts of marriage. There's so much for you to learn. The world teaches us wrong about marriage. Come to the Marriage Foundation. We teach you correctly. <laughs> Again, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I'm only here, we're only here, to help you have the kind of marriage that you've always wanted, that you've been afraid to dream of. So, please visit again. God bless you and take care.